Welcome to another fascinating video about mythology. Today, we will explore the legendary figure of Sun Wukong, known as the Monkey King, one of the most iconic characters in Chinese mythology. Get ready to embark on a journey filled with adventure, mystical powers, and a captivating personality. First and foremost, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like, as this video took a lot of effort to create. Thank you. Who is Sun Wukong? Sun Wukong, also known as the Monkey King, is one of the most iconic characters in Chinese mythology. He is the protagonist of the famous Chinese novel Journey to the West, written during the Ming Dynasty in the 16th century by Wu Chengen. Sun Wukong was born from a celestial stone and was bestowed with extraordinary powers from his birth. He possesses superhuman strength, the ability to transform into various forms, the power to travel at great speeds, keen hearing, and incredible endurance. In addition to his physical abilities, Sun Wukong is known for wielding a magical staff called Rui Jingu Bang. This staff, which can extend and shrink at will, is extremely powerful and gives him an advantage in battles against his enemies. Sun Wukong is depicted as a cunning, intelligent, and mischievous character. He is known for his pranks and for challenging celestial authorities. However, throughout his journey, he also undergoes a process of self-discovery and learning, maturing, and finding his purpose. The story of Sun Wukong is filled with thrilling adventures and challenges. Sun Wukong is widely revered in Chinese culture as a symbol of courage, determination, loyalty, and self-improvement. His charismatic personality and extraordinary abilities have made him a beloved character and an inspiration to many throughout the centuries. How was Sun Wukong born? Many years ago, in a distant land, there existed a celestial stone on the slopes of the Flowery Mountains. This stone, bathed in starlight and energized by divine winds, housed a magical essence within. And it was from this stone that Sun Wukong, the Monkey King, was born. At the moment of his birth, golden rays of light burst from the heavens, illuminating the surrounding landscape. The animals of the forest bowed in reverence, sensing the presence of a special entity. Sun Wukong emerged from the stone, fully formed and endowed with astonishing powers. The Monkey King, with his shining eyes and golden fur, observed the world around him with curiosity. He already possessed exceptional intelligence and a mischievous personality. It quickly became clear that he was not an ordinary monkey, but rather a magical being with a grand destiny. From the very beginning, Sun Wukong displayed abilities beyond the understanding of the other monkeys. He leaped among the trees with remarkable agility, mastered martial arts effortlessly, and possessed superhuman strength. His intelligence and cunning also set him apart, allowing him to unravel hidden secrets and find solutions to the challenges he faced. Sun Wukong's Story once upon a time, in a magical place called the Huagua Mountains, the Monkey King, Sun Wukong, was born from a special stone that emerged from chaos. He was adopted by the Monkey Clan and from an early age, he proved to be fearless and courageous. One day, Sun Wukong leaped over a majestic waterfall and found a new home for his species, earning the respect and admiration of all. With his natural leadership, the monkeys proclaimed him the Monkey King. However, the Monkey King, like the other monkeys, realized that death was inevitable. Determined to find immortality, Sun Wukong decided to embark on a journey that would take him beyond known limits. He disguised himself in human clothes and left his community, determined to achieve his goal. During his travels, Sun Wukong encountered a Buddhist master. Despite the master's initial doubts, he eventually welcomed the Monkey King and taught him extraordinary skills. Sun Wukong learned to master the art of transformation, assuming different forms, as well as the ability to make incredible leaps, covering unimaginable distances. With these and other abilities that we may never know, Sun Wukong could escape the three disasters, becoming immortal for the first time. However, the Buddhist master, witnessing how Sun Wukong used his abilities to show off and attract attention, became displeased. Feeling disrespected, the master decided to expel the Monkey King from the temple. Despite this, Sun Wukong did not give up. After completing his training, he embarked on various journeys. One of his notable journeys led him to the palace of the East Sea Dragon King. 
There, Sun Wukong stole the magical staff Rui Bang, which was responsible for maintaining the balance of the seas. With this staff in his hands, he caused numerous cataclysms. Furthermore, the Monkey King also visited the underworld, where he erased his name and the names of the other monkeys from the Book of Life and Death, becoming immortal for the second time. Determined to challenge the Jade Emperor and win his favor, Sun Wukong received noble titles. First, he was appointed the protector of the Imperial Stable's horses. However, after a conflict, he was also named the guardian of the Peach Orchard of Immortality. He ate the peach, becoming immortal for the third time. However, anger consumed Sun Wukong when he was denied access to a banquet in honor of the Empress. Enraged, he deceived a monk invited to the party and discovered the location of the Jade Pool, where he stole the liquor, which, of course, he drank, becoming immortal for the fourth time. He decided to steal the liquor and the pills of immortality from the Taoist Lord Laozi, becoming immortal for the fifth time. After that, he left the celestial realm and returned to the mountain of flowers and fruits, sharing the liquor with his people. As a consequence of his actions, the emperor became furious and sent a hundred thousand warriors and dozens of gods to capture Sun Wukong and ordered his execution. However, after consuming the pills and peaches of immortality, the Monkey King became invulnerable. Nothing could harm him. Desperate, the emperor imprisoned him in the eight trigrams furnace, where the intense heat was supposed to burn him to death. However, Sun Wukong was so powerful that the instrument ended up exploding, unable to contain him. Seeing no options left, the emperor turned to Buddha for help. Buddha challenged the monkey king, making a bet. If Sun Wukong could jump beyond Buddha's palm, he would be crown emperor. Otherwise, he would be sentenced to eternal imprisonment. Accepting the challenge, Sun Wukong leaped with all his might, believing he had reached the end of the universe. He marked his journey by urinating on five pillars he encountered along the way. However, upon returning to the land, he realized that those pillars were, in fact, Buddha's fingers. He had lost the bet. Although he tried to escape, Sun Wukong was imprisoned in the mountain of the five elements by Buddha, condemned to an eternity of confinement. Centuries later, a monk named Tang crossed paths with Sun Wukong. Seeing potential in the Monkey King, the monk decided to free him and recruit him to help in a special mission, to retrieve the sacred scriptures for China. Sun Wukong agreed to assist and used his magical abilities to protect the monk and face the enemies that arose along the way. Together, they embarked on a journey full of dangers and challenges, with the goal of bringing back the precious scriptures to their country. If you watched the video until the end, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. It motivates me to continue every day. Thank you, goodbye.